Hi guys, it's Ines. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Every time you open up Ines's chest, you're gonna find either a potion, a trinket, or random magic. Trinkets are all the beautiful things that I would like to share with everybody. Potions are tips, reviews, and tutorials that might be helpful to you. For example, I have a lot of jewelry making tutorials that you can learn to make jewelry for yourself. And uh, by the way, all the jewelries I wear in my video are all made up by myself. And uh, random magics are just random topics that I decide to talk about. Uh, anyway, today is gonna be a potion video and uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a tuck toy for your dog, like this. I have a Britney dog, a pure Britney dog, and uh, he is a master chewer. Actually, I have talked about his traits, 10 of his traits in one of my videos. Uh, I'll put the video down below in the information box, or you can click the i button here to check it out. And um, yeah, he is just a master chewer. Whenever you give uh, him a toy, he'll just play with it, chew on it until he destroys it. So during the past one and a half years, we found that a lot of toys just don't last long. And uh, the only one brand that will last long is the Tough series from the Top Paw. And uh, other than that, um, we have a great tug toy uh, that he loves play all the time. So um, I'm glad I got it from my breeder and uh, they just last forever. But um, in the end, it will still pull apart. So uh, after the first one is broke apart, I figured out how to make them. So I started making them myself. My dog Toffee just um, loves playing with the tug toys. He just loves playing tug war with us. Look, look, come here. Yes, you like playing this. Yes, okay, this is yours. All right. So it's really fun to make. You can make them into different colors and uh, um, choose a color that your dog would love most. So get some materials, um, fleece materials, and uh, see whichever uh, color he jumps on it, just use that color. And uh, I'm sure he'll love it and uh, he'll have a lot of fun playing tug, tug war with you. All right, uh, let's just dive in and uh, see how I make them. All right, I have got my two colors of the fleece materials. They are the standard fleece materials. One is gray and uh, one is pink. Uh, I am sure you can find the same type of materials in your local fabric stores. Now I'm going to start off by cutting out some fabric strips. I will need three strips in total. For the gray color, I'm going to cut out two strips. Each one is going to be 10 by 60 centimeters. I am cutting two layers at a time so that I can save some time. I folded the material in half. So when I finish cutting, I just cut it in half and now I've got my two strips. For the pink color, I will only need one strip of five by 120 centimeters. Now you probably have realized that there's actually a formula to that. So the two wider strips you need, the width is always the twice as much as the narrow strip, and the length of the wider strips is always half as much as the narrow strip. And here is what I have. Now let's start the next step. I'm going to grab the two ends of the wider strips, and at the same time I find the middle point of the narrow strip and I wrap the narrow strip around the two wider strips and tie an overhand knot, like this. Now I'm going to flip the round and tie another overhand knot and make sure it's secure as well. Remember, this is for your dog. If your dog is a master chewer, you have to just make it tight and secure. All right, now we're all set for the next step. I group the two narrow strips together. I will start my braiding. This is just the basic three strands braiding, and I'm sure you guys know how to do it.
and this will continue to the end of the strips. When you finish braiding, grab all the ends together and make a secure overhand knot. Remember to make it really really tight, pull it really really tight and secure. Now I've got a braided rope. Then I repeat the whole process and make a second rope. I grab the two ropes together and make a huge overhand knot. Well, it looks huge, but once you pull it tight, it's gonna become smaller. Just make sure it's really, really tight so that the dog can enjoy it and the tuck toy can last for so long. Alright, I hope you like my tutorial. Please try to make them and let me know if your dog love it. And uh, if you would like to see more DIY projects and uh, keep in touch with Toffee, please make sure to subscribe and uh, share with the friends that you know. Uh, hit the bell button as well so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Give this video a thumb up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye!